We're now in section 10 of our AutoCAD Electrical 2015 course. And as usual, we're using the Demo 10 project over here in the Project Manager. I'm in the Schematic subfolder, and I'm currently in drawing Demo 02.dwg. Now we're going to be looking at wires throughout this section and how to insert wires and how to manage and manipulate our wires in our AutoCAD electrical drawings. Now the reason I've opened up drawing demo 02 is there's a lovely big space here where we can add some wires to the drawing. So I'm going to zoom in and just pan a little bit, make sure that we can see what we're doing. Again, utilize your zoom and pan so that you are in the right place in the drawing. Don't sit there squinting at a drawing at full magnification and trying to work out where the wires actually go. Now, what we're going to look at in this particular exercise is inserting wires into our drawing. Now, to do that, we go up to the ribbon and we go to the schematic tab on the ribbon here, like so. And you can see that we've got lots of wire icons. They're all over here towards the right hand side. So we've got here insert wires, wire numbers. That's where we need to be. And it's this one here, wire. So I click there and you can see that we've got various options. We're just going to select the wire option, this one here. So I click there and come into the drawing area. Now, as you can see, it's thinking about it a little bit. Now, the reason it thinks about it is because it's linking to the database in the AutoCAD electrical project. You can see there, it's basically prompting me for a wire start. Always, always, always make sure that your dynamic input is on when you're putting wires into your AutoCAD electrical drawings. That's this icon down here, that one there, dynamic input, make sure it's on. Now, I'm just gonna put a wire here in this space, so I'm just gonna click. Now, before I do click, you can see on the command line, I've got the option of wire type, or if I just press the X key on the keyboard, it will show any connections to any pieces of wiring component equipment. Now, we'll look at that a little bit later on, the show connections option, but the wire type one is quite important because if I right click on the mouse now and go to wire type on the shortcut menu, what that allows me to do is set the wire type in the drawing. Now, wire types are defined in your AutoCAD electrical project. In this case, you can see we've got some already installed and you can see that the one I'm using at the moment is red, 14 AWG is the wire size and it's on a specific layer. So you can set all of this up in your AutoCAD electrical project. You can also just go and pick that layer if you want to in your layer properties manager as you would regularly in AutoCAD. But the idea being is that the wire types, as you can see there, 14AWG, has a layer name against it in the project. So it allows you to manage your wires. So I'm gonna click on OK there and then specify my wire start. So I'll just click here and then I drag. And as you can see, the wire starts. Now, you'll notice I can do this. Can you see, as I drag down, I've now got a vertical wire there as well. So if I click there, that will give me two wire segments. And then I come up, like so, click there. You then just press Enter to finish. And once you've pressed Enter, it prompts you then, again, for another wire start. So I can go and start another wire somewhere else. I don't have to come out of the command and start all over again. Now you'll notice there's some other options there on the command line. I can start vertically, I can start horizontally. I can also tab for collision off, which means that if I collide with another wire, it doesn't put a wire loop or a wire gap in it. And then the continue option just allows me to continue wiring, a bit like the continue that you get when you're placing arcs and things in regular AutoCAD. So you can see how easy it is there to place wires in your AutoCAD electrical drawing in your AutoCAD electrical project.